In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a captivating quest notification system with sound using Unreal Engine 5, enhancing the immersive experience for players. Let's start. Firstly, we have to create a widget blueprint. First, create a canvas panel. We'll cover all area on the screen. Then create another canvas panel inside the first one. Anchor top left corner, position X50, position Y100, size X1000, and size Y40. We need a background, so add an image inside the second canvas panel. For anchor, select this. Check size to content. Make it black or what color you want. I prefer 50% opacity. Then add a horizontal box into the same canvas panel. Settings are the same as image. Inside the horizontal box, we will add text, a spacer, and a text again. Name the text layers and check as variable. We will use them later. Now we need in and out animations. Click animation tab and then the green plus icon. This will be our begin animation. Click track and add the canvas panel. Click plus icon on the right. Select transform and render opacity. Change the translation under transform and render opacity. Add a second animation, it will be the end animation. And do the opposite of begin animation. Now click graph and from event construct add play animation. We will play our begin animation first. Then drag message one to screen and select node set text. This one yes. Connect it to play animation node. And from pink node, create a variable. We will store the value in here to use later. Do the same for the message 2. Now, our notify is on screen, but we need some time. For this, we add delay node and set the duration value to 5. We saw the message for 5 seconds. Now, time to disappear. Play the second animation. Add delay for the animation. Set value to 0.4. Then add remove from parent node. Our widget is ready. Now we need a function to use this widget. Right click and go blueprint and select blueprint function library. Name it what you want. There is a function on the screen. Rename it. Function need two inputs, message one and message two. Firstly, if the widget is on screen, we need to remove it first. We don't want them to conflict. Get all widgets of class. Select our widget and remove from parent. Connect. Then create widget, select notify widget. From return value, select set message one text and connect the input from beginning. Do the same for the second message. And again, from return value, select node, add to viewport. Of course, there is no silent notification. I have a sound from freesound.org. Drag it to your project. Keep selected. In function blueprint, create node play sound 2D The click this tiny arrow, selected audio, came here. Function is ready, now let's use it. Add a trigger volume on screen, cover it like this. We have to get this notification. And get in the level blueprint. When your trigger volume is selected, right click add event for it. Click collision and select first one. 
This means when our player enters the volume, this node will execute. We don't want it running every time we pass by there. For this reason, we need to add do once node. As the name suggests, it will do this job once. From the completed node, simply select the notify function. Fill in the boxes as desired. Let's try this. That's better. The key moment will be when you successfully show the quest notification with sound in your game, showcasing how it elevates the gameplay experience. You'll be amazed at how something as simple as a notification with sound can have such a profound impact on the overall gaming experience. Don't forget to leave a comment with your thoughts and check out my other tutorials. For more tips and tricks in Unreal Engine 5, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more Unreal Engine tutorials. See you in the restaurant at the end of the universe.